Have uh, you had a good night at the Forge, everyone? Woo! First time I've ever heard that. <laughs> like, when you decided to come to a stand-up comedy club down an alleyway in Wollongong, where the only door is a, is a garage fucking shed door. <laughs> There's one toilet infested with leeches. <laughs> but, I'll say one cool thing about it, if it gets hot, there is a ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> Has no one pointed that out yet? Yeah, <laughs> yeah if you're seven foot and your scalp is warm. <laughs> uh, my cousin owns this place. <laughs> so yeah, um, a bit about myself. I'm Dylan. I'm a male. Which statistically means I'm probably a terrible person. <laughs> like really, we've done some historically bad shit. <laughs> a lot of people have the nerve to say, oh, not all men. Not all men are abusers, not all men do all this. Does it really take all men before you call them out on it? Like, is that a requirement? <laughs> Did every redback spider bite and kill a child before you <laughs> decided to call them dangerous? <laughs> and I'll all say, like, the same guys who say not all men are often the same guys who say that all Muslims are terrorists. <laughs> You can't have it both ways. <laughs> you think that women shouldn't generally be wary about men they don't know, but every follower of a certain religion has explosive devices ready to go off at all times? <laughs> and they'll all say, oh yeah, the terrorists are more dangerous than rapists, and they're like, yeah, but which one's more common? <laughs> like, which one is statistically easier to do? Like, I've never been around a group of drunk people being like, oh god, I've had so much a drink. We should totally bomb some buildings! <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking drunk, let's go shoot up an airport! <laughs> yeah, rapists and pedophiles everywhere. Only a few terrorists. <laughs> like, how many celebrities have been exposed as terrorists? <laughs> So many have been exposed as rapists and pedophiles, and it's upset so many people. Like, they've taken personal offence to it, so they want revenge. I've seen so many people guilt others for, for listening to music by certain artists and all that, and it's, it's, they're guilting them for supporting them. Like, 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 supporting them was the entire point. I've never downloaded a Michael Jackson song thinking, oh, MJ really needs the money. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta help him out. <laughs> I never danced to an R. Kelly song thinking, ah, this one's for my boy R. Kelly. <laughs> Hope he appreciates it. <laughs> I don't know, I think I just believe in separating the art from the artist. Because, like, I like things I like for myself. I enjoy things I enjoy for myself. Where do you draw the line? Because you tell me you're never going to listen to any song by Aerosmith, The Beatles, Rolling Stones, Elvis Presley, David Bowie, Jimi Hendrix, Tupac ever again? Because boy, do I have news for you about them. <laughs> well, the example I always think of is the actor Kevin Spacey, who won an Oscar in 1999 for the movie American Beauty, and then 18 years later was found out he was a pedophile, and a lot of people said, oh, he should give his Oscar back, because in American Beauty he played a 40-year-old guy who wanted to fuck a 16-year-old girl, and everyone was like, oh, he's not acting because he's a pedo anyway. <laughs> Is that the entire reason he won the Oscar? <laughs> you think the Academy was sitting there being like watching this 40 year old man looking like he wants to fuck a 20 year old actress and they were like, I'm completely convinced he wants to have sex with her. <laughs> Give that man an Oscar! <laughs> Best lead actor performance all year. <laughs> and then yeah, 18 years later, it turns out Kevin Spacey was gay and liked little boys. Oh. Maybe he really did deserve that Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think Hollywood was warning us about Kevin Spacey for years, because in 1995 there were two crime thriller movies where the end plot twist was that Kevin Spacey was the bad guy the whole time. <laughs> I think they were trying to tell us something. <laughs> <laughs> Diana's been with me too, oh thanks. <laughs> 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 That's scary! <laughs> A lot of people, when I tell them Louis C.K. is one of my favourite comedians, they always go like, oh, Louis C.K., but he jerked off in front of women. Like, yeah, but that wasn't part of his act. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do that on stage. I said one of my favorite comedians, not one of my favorite feminists. <laughs> imagine that, like, oh, who's your favorite comedian? Oh, I really like the guy who gets a bunch of women in the audience and gets his cock out and jerks off in front of him. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> 
say, so, yeah, where do you draw the line? Just like, take Nazis, for example. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Did go. some pretty bad shit, I heard. Yeah. Like, I've heard they were really mean. But they also invented Fanta. That's a true story. Fanta was created by Nazis. <laughs> I prefer Sunkist. <laughs> Maybe I can bring that like, like some moral stance I have against Fanta. Like if anyone offers me a can, I can be like, hey, wait a minute. You know how many Jews were killed by Fanta? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they're often terrible people. <laughs> My family, uh, we, we have a cat. We've had a cat for the past eight years uh, named Gypsy. And uh, that's now considered an ethnic slur, racist against the Romani people. And that's weird. We're having this cat for eight years and it's calling it over, not knowing that you're being racist the entire time. <laughs> but can you imagine like going over someone's house and they're like, oh, what do you mean, my cat? Here, they just say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> I've also had, I was in a musical that was called Gypsy, and all the musicals I've been in that have had the posters on my walls. So it's just been Gypsy in big Broadway letters on my bedroom wall for nine years. <laughs> and again, imagine walking into your friend's room. <laughs> And just on the wall in big Broadway letters, and I. <laughs> yeah, it makes it, makes it really makes you think. What is a slur? So I looked it up in the dictionary, and apparently, to slur means to run all the words in together so they're indistinctive. So really, anyone who's had a few drinks has slurs. <laughs> Maybe it's not so bad. What I don't get is, is the M word. Not to be confused with the N word. This is the M word. So you can't say the M word. You have to say little person or dwarf. And that's fine, but like little person's a description, and not necessarily, a, it's, it's a vague one. Because I'm five foot seven, a lot of people would consider me a little person. Not necessarily a bitch. <laughs> a dwarf, I also don't get. Because that comes from German mythology, which means the creature that dwells in the mountains. And I don't think Peter Dinklage has ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> How much time have I got? <laughs> Two minutes! Oh, jeez! Um, what other pedophile rapist jokes? <laughs> but you know what? I'm happy there. I'm happy. <laughs>